Times Trucking Stories, brought to you by Brady Talbot of Finleys. Top of the morning to you. So today we are moving house, but not in the orthodox way. No, we wouldn't do it like that, would we? We do it the way truck drivers do. For the last three years I've been living in my truck, but it's time for an upgrade. Funny story how it all came about was uh, one of my mates uh, I used to play football with down at the old Frankston Bombers Footy Club rang me up and said, oh, don't, I've got a, an old granny flat that I, I need moved so I can so I can build a house. And I went, oh yeah, where do you need it moved? He goes, oh well, I'm sort of looking at selling it or get rid of it. And I went, I'll buy it, yep. So, two months down the track, here we are. That's Tone's new house over there. I haven't even seen it yet. A lot of people are doing sight unseen these days or board unseen. So let's see how, see how we go here. We've got uh, a big crane higher over there with the crane and they're going to lift it on my trailer and I'll run oversized back to Port Macquarie. So literally moving house, the whole house and everything, including the kitchen sink. So let's give her a crack, eh? But first, Let's wind back the clock to yesterday, which is also now while I take this video, to VCH here in Dandenong to pinch a few pallets. The idea behind that is the deck height and then the pallets should just sit nicely on top of that as one load. It's going to take up the whole trailer, so let's see how we go. They say everything but the kitchen sink. No one ever talks about the hot water service. It just gets left behind, do they, boys? <laughs> Great effort. But before we get lifting, we've got to protect all these windows, otherwise they'll end up all over the highway. So you get your trusty old duct tape, stand on a bin and tape her up. Well, we ran out of tape and we've done pretty well. And I believe there's a hardware store just up the road, so I might have to do a little bit up there once we got her on the truck. But now the moment of truth. Lift her up, put her on. We've already conceded, and considering I'm the owner, it doesn't worry me in the slightest. But we're probably going to wreck those bottom boards where those slings are, but so be it. Let's give her a go, eh? Just when you think you're almost done with it all, you put your signs on the wrong place, don't you? <laughs> well, that's all she wrote. She's on there. It was a little bit of hard yakka, but you know, that happens in transport and that type of stuff. It's on there. That's the main thing. You can probably see there's a bit of chipboard there. So what we're going to do is actually board up those front windows because the air over the top of the cab smashing into that uh, probably wouldn't last too long, I reckon. That's a boring bit, so we're not going to show that. But that's about it from here today. I suppose you want to uh, have a look inside my new house. Let's go have a look, shall we? Not welcome to my house. Bit of a drop. We won't be doing this one again. So thanks, guys, for the booster. Cheers. That's Metro. That's who I bought this off me, mate, and his brother. 
Matt, there you go, I'm glad he said that because I forgot. <laughs> so, let's have a walk through the house, shall we? Down this end, um, this is a bedroom, I believe. There you go, just a, a little one there. Hmm, might do a little bit of painting, something like that. This is the couch that comes with the place. Metro, that's a piece of crap, and that will be going soon. Uh, <laughs> oh no, yeah, yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll be upgrading, I think, from there. There's the kitchen, lovely, won't be doing too much there, maybe just a spot of paint. Might, uh, you know, sand that back, re-oil it, who knows, you know, over time I'll work that one out. Now, as we go down the uh, the west wing of the property, um, we head over here to, to the nice um, beer bottle stained glass windows uh, into a, a very 70s looking bathroom, isn't it? Yes, there's a bit of a, a theme about that, 70s, it was built that time. And the old boggy crapper sitting there, woo! woo. And down the back here, I believe this is going to be the master bedroom. I will put a door on here, and, and that's where I'll be having my naps. So there you go, that's uh, the full tour of my new house. Hope you enjoy it, and let's hope that it gets back up to Port Macquarie in one piece. Cheers! Temp three. Glad there's not a bloody window there, though, eh? This is a temp four.